trabajando usted ahorita. Hello. Ah, es excelente. Hey guys, how's it going? <coughs> Fine. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to Hi. see you. Good, good, good to see you all. So, um, thank you very much for being here on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. And today, we're going to start with the class, okay? Now, okay. I want to congratulate, I want to congratulate, let me see. I know that Melissa sent the audio. Also, pre-intermediate. Melissa. No, never mind. Never mind. That was the other one. All right. Did you do the homework, guys, about the address of frequency? Is it on the address of frequency? Yes, I do. Yes. Okay, good. Do me a favor. If it's if you did it on the computer or if you did it on your notebook, take a picture and send it to the group, please. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Right send now. Okay. Yes, please. That way I have time. Every time that you finish it, try to send it before the class. So I have time to, okay. Okay. to help you out with that one. Okay. All right. Very good. So while you're doing this, I want to ask you something real quick. I'm going to be choosing victims. And I have Johnny Ramos right in front of me. Johnny Ramos. Good evening. Good evening. Um, tell me, how often do you go to the gym, sir? I never go to the gym. <laughs> okay, I like your honesty. Fantastic. <laughs> Johnny, ask Sonny a question using how often. Okay. The rest Sunny. of you start working on questions. Los otros empiecen a preguntar en una okay. pregunta con how often. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sonny, how often do you swim in the pool? Um, well, I never swim in the pool. <laughs> I don't have time. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Sonny, question to Ingrid. Uh, Ingrid, how often do you drink coffee? Hello, hello, Ingrid. Ingrid. Not here? All right. No worries then. Sonny, ask Emerson, please. Okay, Emerson, how often do you drink coffee? I always drink coffee every morning and drink coffee. Okay, there you go. So say it with me, please. I drink coffee every morning. I drink coffee every morning. Good job. Now, Emerson, please ask something to Omar. Omar Avelar. Okay. Good evening. Okay, Omar. How often do you play video games? I play video games every Sunday. Okay. Good. Every Sunday. Good answer. Omar, question to Blanca, please. Okay. Blanca. Okay. How often? Do you go? Do you go to the movies? Good question. Uh, I never. Oh, uh, I never uh, in the movies. I never. I go, never go to the go, movies. Go in the movie. I never go to the movies. Repeat after me. Go to the movie. Okay. All right. Very good. Now, Blanca, do me a favor and ask Luis Molina. Okay, uh, Luis, how Hi. often do you exercise? How, how often Sorry, do you ex do exercise? Exercise. Uh, maybe every day. I I every day. I exercise I, every day. I I exercise every day. Or Good at night. Nice. Good job. Fantastic. Luis, help me out and ask Lisette, please. Okay, Elisette, uh, how often do you read a book? I I read a book every weekend. 
Good job. Every weekend. Fantastic. Lizette, question to Maggie, please. Maggie, how often do you eat vegetarian food? Vegetarian? Repeat after me, Veget please. Vegetarian food. There you go. I, I never vegetarian food. <laughs> okay. okay. You're a meat lover, like the pizza. Meat <laughs> lover. Nice. Maggie, question to Roberto Mejia, please. Eh, eh, voy entrando una pregunta solo Mira. puedo usar how often o puedo usar la otra forma de what do you yeah you can use the other one too puedo ocupar la otra no hay problema ah cuál okay. mm -hmm. entonces a quién le voy a preguntar you're gonna ask Roberto Mejía ah Roberto Roberto what do you usually do in your job what do you usually do in your job? Mm -hmm. Robert? What do you usually do in your job? Robert? All right. Seems that Robert is not here right now. Um, ask Omar Avelar. ¿Puedo repetir la misma pregunta? Yes, ma'am, you can. Okay. Omar, what do you usually do in your job? I usually do my job every day. Okay, but what? What do you usually do there? What are the activities that you do? For example, I usually prepare my classes. Okay. I usually talk to people. Mm -hmm. So, podemos contestar, esa pregunta sale un poquito de, de la que practicamos ayer, pero siempre es eh, para frequency adverbs. ¿Qué haces usualmente en tu trabajo? Well, you know, I usually send emails. A veces mando, o usualmente mando correos. I'm going to write it down. Mm -hmm. um, okay. To everyone, are you? Excuse me, teacher. But I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, who's that, Roberto? Roberto. Roberto. Okay, good, good. Don't worry. I usually send emails. For example, I always make calls. Okay, and that's what you normally do. All right. Now let's stick to how often then, so we don't. That's a good question, though, Maggie. Omar, please ask Tatiana, who's next to you here. Okay, Tatiana, how often do you clean your room? Don't clean lie. my my room. Uh huh. Don't lie, Tatiana. Okay, I always clean my my room. Okay. Good job. Good job, Tatiana. To Roberto, please. Um. Roberto, um, how often do you wake up early? I usually wake up uh, at 8 p.m. P.m.? I am. Oh, Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. Right Sorry. before the class, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, good. <clears throat> now, question to Lino, real quick, so we can finish Lino. it out. Okay. El Lino, eh, how often do you watch movies on television at night? Uh -huh. I usually uh, I usually or I never watch movies uh, on TV. Okay. Understood? Good question. Now, Lino, please ask Luis, right? LGK10? Yes, okay. I am Luis. Okay, thank you, Luis. So, Lino, ask Luis, and Luis, ask Hector, please, and we finish the round. Okay, Luis, how often do, do you uh, have a lunch every day? Mm. ¿Qué tan seguido comes todos los días? No. 
almuerzo. No, ajá. Let's see, let's see. How do you say, ¿qué tan seguido comes? Uh, no sé, sopa de pata. How often, uh, how often uh, other question. Uh -huh. How often do you play soccer? Uh, the week. Uh, uh, not, uh, not very often. I don't play in soccer. So, so. Okay. okay, that's good. Now, here in this question, guys, we don't, Lino, in this one, we don't say how often do you play soccer per week. We just leave it as how often do you play soccer. ¿Qué tan seguido juegas fútbol? I don't play soccer. There you go. Good. So, I never play soccer. I never play soccer. Good. And the last question, please, Luis asked uh, Hector. Hector. Nice to meet you, Hector. Hector. Hello, Yes. Uh, how often do you visit your uh, wife? Mm -hmm. How often do you visit your girlfriend, for example? Ah. Hector, are you married? Estás casado? Yes, yes, I'm married. Okay, lo um, siento, so felicidades. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, um, ya, yeah, no le pregunten que cada, cada cuánto visita la novia, porque esto va para YouTube y se puede meter en problemas. Okay, okay. okay so sorry, Hector. Uh, other question. Uh, how often do you study English? Okay. Good. Hours. Okay, very good. Good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I just wanted to make sure that all of you know how to answer this question. Eh, quería asegurarme que todos saben hacer esta pregunta, que todos la saben contestar. Y la verdad, me estoy muy, muy satisfecho con el outcome. Un outcome es el resultado. It's another way of saying the result. Outcome. Va para su vocabulario. It's the same as result. Lo que resulta de eso. Now, let's rock it with today's lesson. Here it is. All right. So, go ahead and repeat after me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this session. In this section. In this section. Oh, it's a section, right? I said section. Sorry about that. In this section, participants will listen to intonation. In this section, In this section participants, participants will listen, will listen to intonation, intonation with direct address. With, with direct, direct, direct address. address. Here you can say direct or direct. It's the same thing. Direct, direct. It's up to you. Direct address. This direct helps address. sound. Help sound. This helps help sound. Help sound. Help sound. Help. Natural, so, natural, 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 when speaking, when speaking, when speaking. When speaking. now when speak. say it complete and let me finish. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. These help sound natural when speaking. Let's go. In this session, in this session Good job. I need a victim, please. Just one. Solo one number. Hi. There you go. Rocket, sir. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There you go. Good job. So, en esta sección, los participantes escucharán la entonación que se ocupa cuando se refiere directamente a alguien. Esto ayudará a sonar más natural a la hora de hablar. Okay? Let's do it. Pronunciation is super important, guys. It's muy importante. All right. Go ahead and mute your microphone, please, and let's listen to, or let's watch this video. Okay. 
All right, give me just a second. Let me do it again. Didn't work. Here we go. I always forget to click where it says share computer sound. So that's why you don't listen anymore, folks. Let's do it again. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks... She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. All right. So in this one, guys, first of all, I'm going to show you what falling and rising intonation is. Okay? okay. ¿Ya han escuchado ustedes de falling and rising intonation? Yes. ¿Alguien? No, never. No? no okay. Don't. So, in my case, no. Let me break it down to you. Give me a second. Okay, so we have two types of intonation. First, we have rising intonation, que es prácticamente la entonación que va para arriba. Okay? Now, solamente se los voy a hacer. I always get it. No. All right, so tenemos dos tipos de entonación, okay? La entonación que va para arriba y la entonación que va para abajo. So let's everybody practice. We're going to practice rising intonation first, la que va para arriba, okay? So say it with me. Okay. Happy. 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 Si ustedes se fijan. Happy. Happy. Subimos en la última vocal. Happy. 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 Siento como que le jalan la oreja. Happy. Y van para arriba. Happy. 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 Good. Y ahora vamos para abajo. Happy. 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 Good. Si se fijan... Happy, extendemos un poquito y esa es el rising intonation. Vamos para arriba. Y el otro, happy, happy, happy. Si se fijan, termina de una forma más abrupta y no extendemos nada. Démosle con otra. Vamos a ocupar Sunny, que es la primera que veo acá. Sunny. 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 Johnny. 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 Good. Now, ahora voy con Luis y ustedes me dicen si va para arriba o para abajo. ¿Ok? Luis. Arriba. Para arriba. 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 Luis. Abajo. Down. Down. Luis. Down. 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 Luis. Up. Arriba. Up. There you go. There you go. So we go with Hector. Arriba. Hector. Right. Oh. Para abajo. Hector. Down. Hector. Arriba. Up. 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 There you go. There you go. Entonces acuérdense, guys, como que les están jalando la oreja. Hector. Y van para arriba. Hector. Más abrupto. Va para abajo. So, tenemos esto en parte de pronunciation, que cada vez que nos vamos a decir, por ejemplo, que siempre que dejamos de ver, no sé por qué tenemos la mala o buena costumbre, de decir, qué, de, qué, qué delgado estás, Alejandro. ¿Ok? O, qué consumido estás, Mario. ¿Ah? ¿Alguno, ¿Alguno de ustedes dice eso? Yeah. Algunos. Entonces la cosa es que siempre que vamos a tener un statement, un comentario hacia alguien y vamos a mencionar su nombre, tenemos que antes del nombre irnos para abajo. Por ejemplo, you're really fit, Paul. Say with me, please. You're really fit, Paul. 
you really, really fit, fit Paul. 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 Good. So you really fit Paul. Y luego viene el nombre por la coma. Say it with me, please. You really fit Paul. You really fit Paul. She looks tired, James. She looks tired. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Lee. Very good. Now, si se confunden, me avisan. I'm going to do rising intonation so you can tell the difference. Para que ustedes vean la diferencia. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. She really fit. I feel great, Dr. Lee. ¿Ven la diferencia cuando me voy para arriba? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. No yeah. suena nada sure, natural. Yeah. Y nosotros tenemos esa, crean lo que lo he visto, he visto con mucha gente que empieza a hablar inglés, que casi siempre nos vamos para arriba. No sé si es por el idioma, pero siempre vamos para arriba. Asegurémonos que si hay un nombre, vamos para abajo. Ok, so say it with me again. Okay. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. She, she looks, looks tired, tired, James. tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel, feel great, great, Dr. Dr. Lee. Lee. Very good. So I need one volunteer. I have uh, Luis, Sonny, or Lisette. Who's my volunteer? Me. Me. Okay. 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 Chivo. Luis, Have to Sunny. Luis. Ah, pues los dos Luis, vénganse, de todos modos. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so Luis Molina, you're really Thank fit, you, Paul. You, you are really fit, Paul. Okay, ese your, pégalo un poquito, your. Your. You're really fit, Paul. No, very good. Luis LGK10 2010, 2017. Uh, my second name is Adonai. Adonai, okay. Lo que yeah. podemos hacer aquí, Adonai, cuando se meta, cambie el nombre en vez de LG, para que no, no cambiar el ah, nombre. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, perfect. Good, good. So, she looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. Muy bien, very good. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Sunny. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Good, good, good. Fantastic. So, that's the intonation that we're going to be working on. And, oh, give me a second. I wanted to pay attention to something. Look at here. We have subject, verb, complement. Subject, verb, complement. Then the comma and a name. Subject, verb, complement, comma, and the name. Okay. Someone give me an example, please. Using this structure. Hijo, hace la tarea. I'm tired, mom. Right? Tatiana, hey. clean, the, clean the room. I'm sleepy, mom. Okay, so I wanted to come up with your own examples. I just need one example right now. I'm working, mom. Okay, good, good. Si no me moleste, estoy trabajando. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want you to do, guys, is I'm going to open up rooms, and I want you to come up with one example each, but I need you to help each other. All right? I'm going to open up the break rooms. We're going to have uh, five groups. La cantidad de gente que hay en ese grupo es la cantidad de ejemplos y los vamos a decir todos. Practiquen entre ustedes la entonación, asegúrense que vaya para abajo, no que les están jalando la oreja. All right? Aquí veo enfrente de mí a Luis, a Donay, a Tatiana y Sunny. Digamos que ellos están en un solo grupo. Entre ellos van a ayudar a Luis a hacer su ejemplo, a Donay a hacer su ejemplo. ¿ya? Y entre todos se van a dar cuenta si están sonando bien o mal. ¿Ok? Any questions? Okay. Okay. No? So you guys no. got... You're going to have... Um, you're going to have 11 minutes to do this. When we come back, I'm going to ask you randomly. Please accept the invite. Okay. Ya le mandé la invitación.
create your own examples. Good. Claudia, can you hear me? ¿Me escucha, Claudia? Hello, Clau. All right. Um, si me escucha, solo asegúrese de hacerle clic donde dice Join para ir al grupo con sus compañeros. In the meantime, por el momento, voy a estar revisando el progreso de otro grupo. Thank you, Clau. Eh, para poder compartir y nos vamos a ayudar todos a hacer la, la frase. Ok. Solo me recuerdo de la primera que decía, You're really fit, Paul. ¿Qué podríamos decir? Sí, podría ser, por ejemplo, I am talking that. Ok. Uh, remember, que... remember that it's going to be before a name. I would recommend you to use uh -huh. simple present. I would recommend you that so you can keep it in the same structure. Uh -huh. When I say um, I run in the park, mom, is correct? Yes, but we got to, yes, it is correct. That's a good example. Just make sure that you, um, that you use falling intonation. I run in the park, mom. I run in the park, mom. In the park. I run in the park, mom. Uh -huh. Okay. I run in the park, mom. I run in the park. In the park. It's up. I run in the park. So, uh, yeah, that's good. I like it. Just make sure that you practice the uh, falling intonation. Okay. All right. Help each other. Let me check another group. Okay. Uh, for Usted sería... Um, eh, eh, que no sé cómo decir. No, no... Eh, for a moment, I don't... Ocupada, Luisa, no sé cómo. Busy, busy. Busy, mm -hmm. ok. Busy. This is no, for a moment, eh, I... I busy. I am busy, Luis. I am busy, Luis. Sería. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Good job, uh -huh. I like it. Just make sure that you work on the intonation. I'm busy, Luis. I'm busy, busy Luis. I'm busy, Luis. Uh -huh. okay. I am busy, Luis. Ajá, uh -huh. but uh -huh. make sure that you don't say okay. I am busy. I am. No vayan para arriba, vayan para abajo. I'm busy. 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 Uh -huh. Good. Okay. You're doing good. I'll check another group. Okay. Héctor. Héctor, porque anduvieron, estábamos haciendo unos ejercicios con Héctor. Héctor, uh -huh. le estoy diciendo que mi clase de inglés es a la, comienza a las 8 p.m. Y que a usted a qué horas comienza. My class beginning at 8 p.m. Ok. Say it again, please. Yes, es que casi no se le escucha a Héctor, no sé qué pasará. Y entonces, dice, creo que son los audífonos o no sé. Ajá, uh -huh. I think it's the kind of, of your phone. Uh -huh. Hola. Hola, hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí, ¿me escucha bien? Sí. Ajá, uh -huh. a little bit better. Good. Hoy sí. Hoy sí, continuo. Hoy usted podría decírmelo. Preguntar o, o decir... Un... Un ejemplo. Uh -huh. Héctor. Héctor. Do me a favor. I don't know if those kind of earphones have a microphone or you have to talk to the 
to the phone. No sé dónde tienen el micrófono de esos earphones. Es eh, que eh, antes los han prestado y como que están un poco mal. Los estoy en oficina y no tengo cómo, cómo No, no, no. Yo, yo sé y la verdad le agradezco que ande ahí en la rebusca con todo. Me llega. Quítese uno, quítese el izquierdo y trate de hablar porque no, quiero ver si tiene el micrófono. ¿Cómo hola? No. Ahora con el derecho. Hola, hola. Ahí está. Entonces lo que puede hacer es déjese el izquierdo y hable con el derecho para que se le escuche bien. Y ahí problema solucionado. Problem solved. Pero con el... ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí, súper claro. Loud and clear. Hola. Hola. Yes. Hola. We can Hoy hear sí. You Hoy sí se escucha. Es que no se le escuchaba. Ahora sí, repeat, repeat, please. Yo creo que... What kind of music do you like? Ajá, good. Eh, so, acá... Acá tenemos que trabajar, guys, con una oración en simple present. Por ejemplo, estoy feliz, papá. I'm happy, dad. Ajá, cualquier expresión en simple present. Vamos a decir la expresión. Y nos vamos para abajo antes de mencionar el nombre. Okay. Por ejemplo, Hector es busy, Mónica. Hector está ocupado, coma, Mónica. Es como que le están diciendo algo a otra persona. Ok. Uh -huh. So, let, let's try to get that done. Okay. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Eh, Hector. Eh, I am happy, I am happy, eh, Héctor. Ajá, good, good, good. Me gusta esa, quedémonos con esa. Y vamos a practicarla. I'm happy, Héctor. El Héctor se mm -hmm. dice con G. Hector. Héctor, Hector. Hector. I'm happy, Héctor. I'm, I'm happy, Héctor. Good, un poquito ah, más. Héctor, Héctor. Ajá, y un poquito más pausado. I'm happy, Héctor. Ah, ok. I'm happy, Hector. Ahí está, muy bien. Ahora, Hector, let's try to look for a statement. Tratemos de buscar una oración y usted se lo dice a Blanca. Sí. Uh -huh. Blanca, I feel so good the weather. Ah, oh, ok. Dejémoslo como the weather is nice. Say it with me, please. The weather is nice, yeah. Blanca. The weather is nice. Ajá. Uh -huh. The weather is nice, Blanca. The weather is nice, Good. Blanca. Mm -hmm. Good. So, vamos a mantener esa, Blanca. I am happy, Hector. Y Hector, okay. usted mantiene. The weather is nice, Blanca. Y traten de practicar la pronunciación que tanto el nice vaya para abajo como happy vaya para abajo. Okay. Okay. Practicing esa intonación para abajo. You have two uh, minutes okay. to practice. I'm happy, Hector. In mi ejemplo, desde he hasta sad. Mm -hmm. Hasta el adjetivo, el adjetivo que es sad. Eh, ya tenemos Correcto. el ticket ahí en línea, creo yo. Yes, guys. Porque no, lo, porque no lo escribís aquí en el chat. Por ejemplo, también puede ser un saludo, creo yo, que como... Good evening. Ajá. Uh -huh. Exactly. It can be anything Voice. you want. Lo que ustedes quieran. Just ah, make sure oh. that you go falling into nation before you say the name. O también puede okay. ser un, como decir good luck. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y el nombre de alguien como desearle buena suerte. Exactly. Puede ser exact. cualquier cosa. Pero cuando ustedes lleguen a la coma antes del nombre, ahí es donde se van para abajo. Okay. En la okay. Teacher, my example is he looks sad, teacher. Ah, okay. He looks sad, teacher. He looks sad, teacher. El teacher lo estábamos tirando para arriba. He Correcto. looks sad, teacher. El adjetivo es el que suena más suave. He looks sad, teacher. Mm, digamos que las dos van para abajo. Aquí okay. no vamos a meter ninguna para arriba. Um, I'm going to say that when we go back to the main room, when we go up, mm. 
generally is when you are not done with something. Cuando no ha terminado de decir algo o con yes, no questions, con preguntas de sí o no. Are you happy? Ahí sí va para arriba. Con lo demás va para abajo. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. ¿Podríamos, podríamos hacer preguntas también, cualquiera. Uh, no se los recomiendo ahorita. Pero okay. sí, sí se puede. Oh, Solo okay, que ahí okay. ya, ya tenemos que ir jugando con ambas entonaciones, dependiendo okay. de lo que digamos. So, ahorita para que dominemos el para abajo, el falling intonation, let's continue. All right? Okay. I'm just going to okay. check one more group and then uh, we go back to the main room, all right? Okay. Thank you. Good job, teacher. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Un ejemplo. Un ejemplo. Sí, quizás son más sencillas así como... Ah, sí, yo me lo había creído. Qué bárbaro. Hello. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, so we are back. Little by little, uh -huh, we're just missing a few. In four seconds, we're going to have the full group. Okay. All right, great. So, guys, it's time for you to give me your example. And people, please pay attention. Omar, you're right next to me. Go ahead. Uh, good job, teacher. Ay, yo que me lo había creído. Okay. So, repeat it after me, please. Good job, teacher. Good job, teacher. Everybody, good job, teacher. Good job, good teacher. Good job, teacher. There you go. Hoy sí me la creo. Good. Good, good job, Omar. Ahí está. Good Thanks. job, Omar. Sunny, your turn. Sunny. Oh, okay. Um... I feel tired, teacher. Nice. Everybody repeat after me, please. I feel tired, teacher. I feel tired, teacher. Good. Thank you, girl. Good job. Tatiana. Tatiana Beltran. Hi. There you go. <laughs> Give us your example, please. Um, question in, in answer. Both. No, just, just one sentence, one statement, una oración, la que tú practicaste. Um, I did it. Uh, que nosotros practicamos con preguntas y respuestas. Okay, show me what you get. Okay, Muéstrame lo uh, que tienes, show me what you get. Uh, for example, would you like to go with me? With me? Not really. Now, <laughs> it's, it's what I was explaining to, I don't know who was it. Can we, can we repeat? It's what I was explaining to Omar's group. En las preguntas, y voy a tocar esto así súper rapidito. Cuando nosotros estamos haciendo preguntas, y la otra persona nos va a contestar sí o no, independientemente si es en futuro, presente, pasado, no importa. Pero si preguntamos, si hacemos preguntas que la respuesta es sí, ¿estás feliz? ¿Sí o no? Yes. ¿Tienes hambre? Yes. ¿Sí o no? Yes. ¿Vea? Esas son preguntas de yes o no. ¿Vas a ir mañana? ¿Sí o no? ¿Okay? Son preguntas yes, no. Lo que ya conteste la otra persona ya es, no podemos controlar lo que nos contesten, pero esas se llaman yes, no questions. ¿Tienes hambre? 
es que fíjate que no he comido, pero fíjate que... va, esa ya es otra historia. Siempre es una pregunta de sí o no. So, in yes, no questions, we go up in pitch. Al final, con preguntas de sí o no, vamos siempre para arriba. Say with me, please. Are you happy? Are you, Are you happy? happy? Are you happy? Will you go to the party? Will, Will you go to, you the, go party? to the party? The party? Did you eat today? Did you eat today? 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 Okay. today? Would you like to come with me? Do you, Do you like, like to, to come with, with me? me? Mm -hmm. Good. So, in this case, como pueden ver, como mostrábamos viendo con Tatiana, todas las preguntas que son de yes or no, va para arriba la entonación. Eso lo vamos a ver más adelante también. Y las preguntas de que ya requieren, es que fíjate que no he comido y todo eso, una respuesta larga, ahí vamos para abajo. Entonces, por eso, eh, why did you come? Why did you come? Vamos para abajo. Okay, say it with me. Why did you come? Why did, why did, why did you, you come? come? Who are you with? Who are you with? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Are you happy? Are you, are you happy? happy? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? Are you, are you happy? happy? One more time. Are you happy? Are, are you, you happy? happy? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? happy? ¿Ven la diferencia entre arriba y abajo en las preguntas? Yes. 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 No se preocupen si no lo han masterizado. Esto lleva su tiempito. Solo quiero que lo conozcan. So, to answer your question, Tatiana, aquí generalmente son oraciones antes de decir un nombre. Okay. So, si quieres, vamos a, a ver otros ejemplos para que tú creas el tuyo y tu grupo también. All right? Good, good, good. Eso me gusta, que practiquen. No importa que tropecemos, para eso estamos acá. Good job, Tatiana. Make sure you create your own. Um, Maggie, give us your example, please. I, li I listen music at night, Pedro. Uh -huh. I listen to music at night, Pedro. Everybody mm -hmm. repeat after me. I listen to music at I night, listen. Pedro. I, I listen, listen to, to music, music at, at night, 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 Pedro. Night, Pedro. Good, good. Let me open WhatsApp right now. I'm going to send everyone's examples. Este, teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Go ahead. Este, eh, cuando estamos en primera persona, eh, mm -hmm. en estas oraciones, ¿hay que ponerle la contracción o no? ¿Sí o no? Podemos contraer en cualquier momento que estamos hablando. Sea primera persona, segunda, tercera. O sea, eh, por ejemplo, el ejemplo, I listen to music at night, Pedro. Uh -huh. Ahí el, el I lleva la contracción, ¿o no? Uh, no, porque aquí estamos en presente simple. I listen, sujeto, uh -huh. verbo. Ya si fuera, uh -huh. por ejemplo, presente continuo, I'm listening, I am, uh -huh. I'm, ahí sí lleva contracción. Uh -huh. La pregunta uh -huh. es porque, digamos, el otro ejemplo era, you really fit, Paul? Ah, Entonces sí. ahí se llevaba contracción. Uh -huh. Por el you are. Uh -huh. Sí se puede. Muy buena pregunta. Yes, you can. You really fit, Paul. Uh -huh. Yes, you can. So, I'm going to be saying... El... Go ahead. Tell me, dígame. No, por eso es que preguntaba que si el, eh, en primera persona podría llevar el, el, la contracción del verbo to be. Claro. O no. Sí se puede. Ah, okay. Sí se puede. Yeah. That's why we normally do not understand native speakers. Por eso es que nosotros generalmente no entendemos native speakers porque ellos contraen y reducen casi todo. Y en las, generalmente, por eso yo trato de evitar eso, siempre les hablo normal, como que estoy hablando con una persona que me entiende, para que ustedes vayan educando el oído desde ya. Ok? okay. Very good. So, repeat your welcome. Repeat your example, please. Maggie, repeat your example, please. No, ah, I listen to music at night, Pedro. Okay, good. I listen to music at night, Pedro. Good, I'm going to be sending each and every one of these. Johnny, give me your example. Okay, um, let me see. Uh, I swim in the summer, Diego. I swim in the summer, Diego, okay. Everybody repeat, please. I swim in the summer, Diego. I swim in the summer, Diego. Diego. 
I swim in the summer, Diego. I swim in the summer. Summer, summer Diego. Diego. Good. Luis Molina, your example, please. Luis, Molina, you're muted. Stay mute. Luis? Hello. Okay. Okay. Uh, there now, you go. Mm -hmm. could you come in with me to the supermarket? Ah. Hey, Tatiana? That's a question, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's rising intonation. Deme un statement también. Una oración, no pregunta. Uh, I don't know. It's okay or maybe... No, I mean, because... Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the question okay. is good. Uh -huh. Could you come to the supermarket with me, Tatiana? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vamos I para can... arriba. Uh -huh. I cannot. Mm -hmm. Luis, maybe I suppose this is the answer. Uh -huh. Give me but, the answer. Uh, I, I, I cannot, Luis. Good. Ahí vamos bien. So, repeat after me, please. I cannot, Luis. I cannot, I cannot Luis. 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 I can't, Luis. I can't, I Luis. Can't, Luis. Yes, yes. Very good. I see. Vamos. Luis Adonai. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Go ahead with your example, please. My example. I am confused, teacher. <laughs> this is my example. <laughs> okay, good. Go ahead and repeat after me, please. I'm confused, teacher. I'm confused, I'm confused teacher. 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 Good. Roberto, your example. Okay. Uh, you're really elegant, Carla. There you go. Repeat after me, please. You're really elegant, Carla. Okay. You're really Can elegant, Carla. Elegant. Carla. Carla. Good. Claudia Sandoval, your example. Uh, I made a dinner tonight. Aha, uh -huh. y el nombre? Uh, uh, Tatiana. Good. Repeat after me, please. I made dinner tonight, Tatiana. I made, I made dinner, dinner tonight, tonight, Tatiana. 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 Good job, good job. Then we are looking for Lino. Okay, in the meantime, Lisette. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I oh. have a, a. I was muting my. Oh, okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go ahead with your example, please. My example is he looks sad, teacher. Nice. Good job. Repeat after me, please. He looks sad, teacher. He, he looks, looks sad, sad. sad, teacher. Sad, teacher. Sure. Very good. Sad, teacher. Fantastic. And then we have Blanca. Blanca Ruth. Ok, ya va a venir. Emerson. No, aquí. Uh, ah, está todo I write, okay. I write the, the note, teacher. I write the note. I write the, the note, the note, teacher. Ok, Le, se lo voy a, a modificar un, un, un poquito. Repeat after me, please. Okay. I write the note, teacher. I the note, teacher. The note, teacher. Uh -huh. Everybody, teacher. I write the note, teacher. I, I, I write, write the, write the note, note, teacher. teacher. Very good. Emerson, your turn, and then Lisette. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm busy, Sonny. I'm busy, Sonny. Busy. Everybody, I'm busy, Sonny. I'm busy, I'm busy, busy Sonny. Sonny. Good, good, good. Lisette. Can you hear us, Lisette? Yeah, she's... Okay, in the meantime, when she comes... Um, Tatiana, your example. Okay, um, I am taking a nap, Carlos. I'm taking a nap, Carlos. Everybody, I'm taking a nap, Carlos. I'm taking a nap, Carlos. Nap, Carlos. 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 Here with me. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm taking a nap, Carlos. I'm, I'm taking, taking a nap, a nap Carlos. Carlos. I'm taking a nap, Carlos. I'm, I'm taking, taking a nap, 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 Carlos. Good, 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 good. Fantastic. So, Lisette, you there? No? 
All right, no worries. Aquí estoy. There you are. Good. Give me your example, please. Uh, I, talk, I talk to my mom at night, Sonny. Good. Everybody repeat, please. I talk to my mom at night, Sonny. I talk to my mom at night, Sonny. I talk to my mama. I talk to my mom at night. Talk to my mom at night. At night. Suena hasta como divertido. So yeah. here, <laughs> I, 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 I talk, 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 talk to my mom. To my 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 mom mom ma. Night. 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 So, Night. Este, es un, este es el último consejo que les doy antes de, de, de despedirme por la sesión de hoy. Cuando algo sea difícil de pronunciar, divídenlo en sílabas. ¿okay? Donde van las vocales. Vea, A, E, I, O, U. So, I talk to my mama. Aquí se, se une, mama. I talk to my mom at night. I talk to I my talk mom to at my night. Mom. I talk to my mom at night. I talk to Good. my mom at night. I talk Good. to my mom. Y poco a poco mom. vamos acelerando, vea. I y con los dedos literalmente se los ven. Mm -hmm. I talk, I to, talk to my, my talk mom at night. My mom at night. I talk to my mom at night. Y empiezan a acelerar. I talk to my mom at night hasta que les salga bien. Okay. 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 Good. So guys, thank you very much. This is a very important topic. Es un tema muy importante para que nos entiendan cuando nos comuniquemos con alguien de, que habla inglés. Okay. Ahora, okay. Well, okay. Um, thank you for your homework. One Los question. Que me han mandado la, uh, in a second. Ya, ya le contesto la pregunta. Gracias por la tarea. Asegúrense de mandarla a todos. Nuevamente, su responsabilidad es la plataforma. Pero mi responsabilidad es darles más para que ustedes traten de mejorar. Mientras más practican, más se equivocan, lo cual está bien, uh -huh. más aprenden. Right? Okay. Está a libre discreción de ustedes mandarme la tarea o no. La próxima tarea uh -huh. es que escuchen los audios. Y este sí me lo pueden mandar individual. Que escuchen los audios las veces. Si tienen que escuchar un audio 100 veces y equivocarse 100 veces, háganlo. Pero necesito que me manden varios de esos audios, si no todos, tratando de copiar mi entonación. Okay. Les prometo que no se van a arrepentir okay. de tanto practicar. Good. So, okay, your question. Teacher. What's your question, sir? Uh, uh, did you create the WhatsApp group? No. No. Estamos todos en el mismo, ¿no? No. ¿A todos I, les I cayeron los audios? Yes. Oh, no, I, I don't know. Maybe re I receive a link, yes. but I cannot include. Okay. Oh, in okay. Group. Good. En este caso, vamos a escribirle a Jason. Okay. Okay. Vamos a escribirle a Jason para asegurarle que ahorita le mando el, el aquí. Hey, uh, ¿qué onda, Sazón? Te saluda Alejandro Narbona del grupo Pre-Intermedio 2. Tenemos a Luis Molina, que no se puede agregar al grupo. Si por favor me puedes ayudar mandando el link de nuevo y asegurándonos que todos estén en el grupo. Thank you. Bye, guys. Fue mensaje en vivo, así que espero que le solucionen rápido, Luis. All right? Ok. Ok. All right, guys. Teacher, Tomorrow teacher, we're going to cover. Uh -huh. Teacher, este, la tarea por WhatsApp. Yes. Generalmente las tareas mándenmelas a mí, okay. pero esta como es pronunciación, mándenmela individual y me dicen quiénes son y de qué grupo, por favor. Give me your okay. number of telephone. 7723. 7723. Mejor se lo pongo en, en el chat porque esto va para YouTube. <risa> no va a ser. 7723-6277. Ah, ya lo dije, todo okay. Vamos a hacer. <risa> Ok, good. Vaya muchachos, ya ven que todo el mundo se enchivola, así que conmigo no se preocupen en cometer errores, por lo que pasa. So guys, okay. mañana vamos con Simple Present, asegúrense de darle un vistazo a eso, ¿ok? Ok, ok. okay. okay. Thank, Thank you, you Alejandro. Get out Thank of here, you. see you tomorrow. Good night, night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, take care. Good night, night. Bye. Bye.